Today, we're gonna to choose some backsplash. So this is our coffee bar display here in our new design center. We have some beautiful countertops. Uh, Amanda, what do, we, what do we have here going on with cabinets and countertops? So here we decided to do a two-toned look. We went with a soft warm gray on the bottom and white uppers on the top with some open shelving. Yeah. Um, so that will be really fun to decorate with some decor and some coffee mugs. We're thinking that we wanna do a coffee station so that when our customers come in, we can offer them a yep. warm cup of coffee. I do, I do love the, the five panel drawer upgrade yes. on, on these drawers. That is one of my favorites for sure. Yeah, the shaker style is so, just such a timeless look. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about what's most popular. Okay. Subway, right? Subway. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people do white Subway. We've seen kind of some of this um, size is becoming more popular. One of the things that I've uh, had a lot of conversations with customers about though is white quartz with white subway. Yep. And will it match and kind of having that conversation. What's your take on that? What kind of conversations have you been having? Yep, a lot of people have been concerned the white on white. So yep. we take the white samples and we try to get a close match to the tops and then we'll bring in the grout sample and okay. play around with all of that and try to create like an in-person mood board for them to be able to visualize it all pulled together. I love white on white. I okay. think it's super clean. Yeah. Um, well, it's bright, right? Yeah. Any space, it's gonna make it feel bigger. Yeah. And, um, especially when you get um, the, the shiny, the gloss, mm -hmm. it really is gonna um, kind of expand the space. Yes. We love this, but we should probably do something interesting and a little more out there, right? Yes. Um, okay. What, what, there's, there's a theme here with some of these things you grab. Yes. What, what are you into right now in Backsplash here? What's your go-to? Because yeah. I notice a theme amongst yes, all these. Yes, I know. I love, love, love the subway tiles. I um, think that this one is just adds a lot of interesting um, texture with it looking like a faux brick, but still with that glossy finish. It comes in lots of different neutral tones so that we wouldn't necessarily have to get white on white. We could choose you know, one shade lighter, one shade darker, um, some of the taupes and the, the cooler tones. And then... This board over here is just so fun. These are the Ripple um, subway tiles and they come in the standard three by six size or this fun three by 12 size. Um, I like the three by 12 size yeah. quite a bit. Yep, super fun. And these can also, with the longer sizes, they can be laid in a fun herringbone pattern instead yeah. of the traditional brick lay. Well, so I, the theme I see is texture throughout all these, right? None of these are flat and straight lines. Um, which is almost, it seems like, in contrast with what we have going on with the shaker style and the white quartz. It's all very clean and neat and straight. And then you've got these backsplashes, which are adding a different, something totally different, right? Yeah, yep. I think I just thought it would be fun to kind of break up all of the clean lines and add some texture as our backsplash. I wanted, you know, this to be just an eye-catching area mm -hmm. when our customers walk through our front doors. This is gonna be one of the first things that they see and I just want people to know that they can sort of step outside of their comfort zone and pick something that is fun and appealing but still with that timeless look that's not going to, you know, grow. They won't grow tired of it as the years pass. I mean, I love this. The picture here on the sample board is this juniper green is really cool. Yeah. Um, I love that color. I, when do you, I mean, we could go just white and keep things bright, or do you go with a really bold color? Like, I think that's pretty cool. Um, we could do some gold hardware, kind of like they have here. Mm -hmm. um, or there's, there's other kind of shades as well, which we could pull from the veining and, and go with, you know, a color like this to pull from. Mm -hmm. um, Lots of options. Yeah, so many options. I don't know, I'm loving the either the white or the bone just yeah. because I think it still keeps it super classy looking but gives us a lot of visual um, flair, if you will, with the ripple style. And yep. I would love to see it laid in a herringbone pattern here in this area. I, I love the, the herringbone. It's so, uh, oh, it just makes anything pop. Mm -hmm. You know that there is some custom work, some craftsmanship, right? Like. We have some really great tile installers um, that do a great job and they are craftsmen and can do some really cool stuff with tile like the herringbone or, or whatnot. So it'd be cool to see that. Yeah, I think it's truly an art. Um, and I think that we can soften and warm things up by adding 
some dishes, um, some pottery with, you know, plants and some baskets and yep. different things to warm warm things up with the open shelving. All right, so we have the white tile and we've got this uh, Laza stone. You can see it. I mean, there's a significant difference in the color of the stone. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think that'd look bad if those two are next to each other? I do. I think it would almost make the beautiful Laza quartz look a little bit dirty. Mm. Um, so I'm loving the way that the bone yeah. looks. Just that warmer It white. does almost match it perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, like, I think I like the bone color as well. All right, so most people don't realize there are just a couple grout options to choose from here. Um, gosh, where do you start with this? I know, this is the part that can be overwhelming because it depends on, you know, what the client's preferences. Do yeah. they want a bold grout line or do they want it really soft and subtle? Um, well, I think of, you know, we've seen some white subway with this bold, you know, dark grout color like this, just to make those lines pop. That's kind of the modern subway, yeah. right? Is that dark grout? Yes. And, yeah. Light subway. What do you think? What do you think about this? Uh, this is charcoal, so pretty dark yep. on there. I think that feels a little too bold okay. for what we're going for. Um, we, I would say, you know, this warm gray would be an example of something that's a, a much softer line. Do you try to match it? Should we ever try to match our grout to, to the tile? I think it's totally a, a personal preference. Yeah. You know, if somebody wants their countertops to truly be like the wow statement, then I would always suggest doing something softer, minimal yeah. grout line, you know, matching the grout so that that kind of just blends in. Yeah. Um, for here, we want it to be a feature with yes. it, you know, laid in the herringbone pattern. And I still want to feel intentional about the warm gray base cabinet. So I feel yep. pewter and silver. We use these yeah. two colors. It seems like constantly. Yes. Um, pewter has a little bit, this might be hard to pick up on camera, but pewter has a little bit of brown or tinge to it, and yep. then the silver is just pretty true gray. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I feel we we'll probably use pewter the most yeah. as grout colors yep. go. Um, I, I like it, and, and I think for us here, we've got, there's brown in this vein on this Laza a little bit. Um, so, mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's kind of my rule of thumb yeah. with grout, is like, wh what is in your countertops? Mm -hmm. Is that something you use yeah. quite often to yes, pick? Yes, absolutely. And I am loving how this is picking up those warm tones with the base cabinets, the countertop, and, you know, it's a couple shades darker than our yeah. bone. I think that's going to look gorgeous. Yeah. Really cool. Okay. Yeah. So we've got the ripple with um, the three by 12. I like, I, I really like this size. It laid normally or yes. in the herringbone, but yep. we'll do herringbone and then we'll do the pewter Peter Grout. Mm -hmm. Let's get it ordered. Love it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm really excited to show you how the backsplash turned out here at our design center at the coffee bar, which is located right at the front entrance. We wanted to do something fun and exciting that would grab customers attention right when they walked in the front door and I think we knocked it out of the park by choosing this really fun ripple subway tile laid in the herringbone pattern. We are just so excited with how our design center is coming together and would love to partner with you with any future home renovation projects that you have. Come on in and see us. <laughs>